hi everyone in today's video i'm going to explain what is differential research and how is differential research similar to correlational research or experimental research so what is differential research differential research uh, studies two groups which are separated by a variable uh, which exist before the groups are separated so here the researcher takes two groups and separates them based on some classification this classification could be a qualitative one or a quantitative one so let's take some examples so what do i mean by classifying two groups based on a qualitative classification variable so let's say you take two groups and you separate them based on gender so you separate them uh, by men and women uh, or people of other genders and you are trying to study uh, how do they go about solving a problem so you are trying to uh, study the impact of uh, men women and other genders on problem solving ability so uh, or it could be uh, based on the political opinion of people so you have taken republicans and democrats in americans and studying them uh, individually as groups or it could be based on some psychological diagnosis where you have uh, classified uh, 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 people based on if they have adhd whether they have autism bipolar uh, schizophrenia and you are studying uh, their behaviors uh, and how they respond to a certain situation um, this classification variable could also be quantitative for example you separate people on base of age so you are studying uh, three-year-olds then four-year-olds and five-year-olds and seeing how they go about solving the same puzzle uh, it could be based on the uh, years of education it could be based on the work experience so these are all uh, quantitative uh, classification variables so in differential research a researcher separates two groups and based on a classification variable and this classification variable itself becomes the uh, independent variable right and this and 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 the researcher studies uh, the impact or how they behave and that behavior itself becomes the dependent variable so uh, you could uh, design an assessment task and see um, how 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 are the male students performing and uh, compare it to how the female students perform so here the classification variable itself or the independent variable becomes the gender and the scores in the assessment task becomes the dependent variable so you studied the uh, effect of the gender uh, on the score so uh, this difference or this classification difference will exist beforehand the researcher is aware of it and the researcher classifies them the researcher does not manipulate any uh, variable they simply classify the two groups based on a pre-existing variable which could be gender age years of experience uh, work experience uh, years of education uh, so on and so forth right so what is experimental research what is correlation research and how is it similar to differential research now remember differential research and correlation research are very similar because uh, in both the research the researcher is studying two groups and uh, we have an independent variable and we are studying the effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable uh, the researcher is not manipulating the variables in any way we are not increasing the age of anyone we are not uh, increasing we are not adding to the number of years of work experience we just take what we get we classify them based on what we have and then we study the impact of it so the findings that we get is very similar in correlation research and differential research uh, what do i mean the findings are similar is that these findings explain if there is a relationship between the two variables it explains the link between the two variables however it does not explain the causation so you cannot say that dependent variable uh, occurs because of independent variable no we are only establishing a relationship so we can establish for example is there a relationship between gender and their performance in a assessment task but we don't say that the performance of the assessment task is being caused by the gender that doesn't make sense right so this is a similarity between correlation research and differential research uh, even 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 from a design perspective even structurally uh, correlation research is very similar to experimental research so the statistical approach to it is very similar because again we are not manipulating any variables we take the variables we get we classify the groups based on the variables and we study the impact so because we don't manipulate anything so in experimental research as you know you have a treatment group you have a control group so we we don't we don't manipulate the uh, group what we can do is of course we have we have a, we have something that we are studying we are studying the effect that uh, 
a variable, a dependent variable, an independent variable will have on one another, but we don't manipulate anything, right? So that's very similar to experimental research. So that's why, again, in experimental research, uh, we cannot find or we cannot define the causation. We, we can't say one is causing the other. We just explain the relationship and how strong is the relationship. So even with correlation research, we find the strength of correlation. How strongly is one variable linked to the other? How strongly is the independent variable linked to the dependent variable? But we cannot justify or we cannot explain that uh, the independent variable is the one that is causing the dependent variable to occur. So this is the similarity. So that's why differential research is often classified as an experimental research or correlation research but uh, there are different terms and uh, we understand them differently although the findings and the statistical process uh, how we go about analyzing it statistically is quite similar so i hope this video was useful for you to understand what is differential research and how does it uh, similar to correlation research or experimental research i hope the examples were easy for you to understand please like share subscribe and uh, look forward to my next video bye for